Okay, number two in the questions at the end of the book. Using the abbreviations given in exercise one, and that was Albert, Bob, and Carol. Using these, uh, construct idiomatic English sentences from the following sentences of sentential logic. So here's the sentence I'm giving you. And you're going to tell me what it means. A and B occur. Remember, Albert, Bob, Carol jogs regularly. So this one is Albert and Bob jog regularly. Okay. Uh, we're going to get harder quickly here. How about not A and not C? So it is not the case that Albert jogs regularly, and it is not the case that Carol jogs regularly. So you could say neither Albert nor Carol jog regularly. How you doing so far out there? All right, now I'm going to blow your doors off. B and A or C? What's that mean? Pause the video and figure it out and get your sentence ready. Bob jogs regularly. And either Albert or Carol jogs regularly. Bob definitely jogs regularly. And either Albert or Carol jogs regularly. That one's easy, right? That's not a problem. How about this next one? It is not the case that A or not B or not C. Tilde A or tilde B or tilde C. Okay, that means either Albert does not jog regularly, or Bob does not, or Carol does not. One of them doesn't jog regularly. And this might be if all three of them live above you, you hear two of them come down every morning. You don't know which two, but you know one of them is not jogging all the time. You know one of them at least is excluded. Okay, continuing. We're going to go to a new universe of discourse now. Uh, this is a little more complicated than the other one we had. This has got six letters. A, B, C. And also we're going to add L, M, H. L, M, and H. That's our universe of discourse. Anything outside of those considerations is outside the universe of what are <coughs> so any sentences we construct within this universe of discourse must apply to these terms or be some combination of these terms and they are ready and you might want to stop and write this down just in shorthand Albert jogs regularly Bob jogs regularly Carol jogs regularly okay L stands for Bob is lazy not just anyone lazy Bob is lazy Okay. M stands for Carol is a marathon runner, and H stands for Albert is healthy. Okay. Bob's lazy, Carol's a marathon runner, and uh, Albert is healthy. So let's do a few sentences. If Bob is not lazy, then he jogs regularly. How would you do that? If Bob is not lazy, then he jogs regularly. If Bob is not lazy, then he jogs regularly. Right? Is that what you got? Okay. How about Carol is a marathon runner if and only if she jogs regularly. Carol is a marathon runner if and only if she jogs regularly. If and only if she jogs regularly. OK. 
Okay. The next one, see if you can get it before I put it on the board. If either Carol or Bob does not jog regularly, then Albert doesn't either. If neither Carol nor Bob jogs regularly, then Albert doesn't either. If either Carol or Bob does not jog regularly, then Albert does not jog regularly. If either Carol or Bob does not jog regularly, if either Carol does not, or if Bob does not, then Albert does not jog regularly. Then Albert does not jog regularly. And we have to group these in order to keep them separated. We've got to keep them separated. So there's that one. How about we go down to the next one? Assuming Carol is not a marathon runner, she jogs regularly if and only if Albert and Bob both jog regularly. So let's do that. Assuming Carol is not a marathon runner, assuming that she jogs regularly if and only if Albert and Bob both jog regularly. So she jogs